after scraping through with some icy rainy days for a couple of weeks the Snow Queen finally arrived beautiful powder beautiful trail the only problem now was it was deep This is my first season here in Australia. Uh, I'm very happy to, to be here because uh, when I was young I dreamed to um, travel around the world and um, work with animals so I think this situation is uh, perfect. <coughs> The scrappy trail led to some maintenance work. We had some busted sleds, brakes, the runners, but all part of the experience. With the fresh snow, it was on. <coughs> tour after tour, run after run, team after team. Dogs were having a ball. So many people from all around the world coming to see these beautiful rescued huskies. I started mushing uh, five years ago in Italy uh, before I come from uh, other animal experience uh, like uh, with the big cats and horses. But uh, in Sled Dog World I saw the possibility to work and enjoy uh, the animals because uh, in this activity uh, the animals uh, and uh, the, the people can have fun together uh, showing uh, respect and trust. I've been working with animals for about 13 years. I started with marine mammals, and somewhere along the line I diverged. And for over 10 years now, I've been working with lions, tigers, uh, helping with the handling and the carnivore management. I've helped a wolf sanctuary for a number of years over in California, and somehow ended up on a mountain surrounded by 60 huskies. With the deep snow and the heavier loads from lots of bookings, we were able to extend our team length, which means we can start putting in the new pups. Uh, this is Ghost. He's one of the pups from last year. He's just about 13 months. And uh, really proud of him. He's come really good and he's, uh, he's actually running lead a lot with me at the moment. I've been running him with his mother, Alaska. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're super proud. A lot of the pups as well, Columbus and Merlin, um, they've been running swing and they're awesome, like little rockets. So it's, uh, yeah, it's super awesome to see the pups um, having a really good go and uh, becoming really good dogs. When I was little, I was always attached to animals. My parents always went nuts because I'd always come out of the bush with a snake or something like that. Uh, but thanks to mum, I grew up watching movies like Balto and, and White Fang. And as soon as I got a whiff that there were sled dogs in Australia, I jumped at it. And especially when I found out that 70% of them are rescues, how can you say no to supporting something like this? Like uh, the other guys, I too a favorite. He's Elton and uh, he's a rescue dog, like uh, a few of them. I don't have a real reason for choosing him. I simply follow my feelings and my heart. With the fresh snow brought more wedding shoots, pre-wedding shoots and all the lovely internationals coming 
I'm personally loving how much everyone is having such an amazing experience on these slopes. I can't believe you can do this in Australia. Uh, this would be my favourite, even though you can't have favourites. Louis. King Louis. Uh, there's something special about this boy. He just studies you. He's got a really calm demeanour. He can be a lead dog. When the other guys fight around him or everyone tries to fight him, he doesn't want a bar of it. He wants peace. And I feel like that's a good sign of a, a promising lead dog for years to come. On the next episode, we'll meet the owners of the business and hear about how all the background stuff that goes on to running such a company like this. The odds and ends, Nisha and Brett, and where it all began with the first rescued huskies.